Lesson 3.5, Model and Count 8. In this lesson, we're going to show 8 with a 5 frame and a 10 frame. We count 8 objects, and we trace the number 8 right and left-handed. Here we have the number 8, and here we have the word 8. The number 8 is 1 more than 7. And when a 5 frame is full, we know there's 5, and it has 3 underneath to make 8. So we can use a 5 frame to show 8 as 5 with 3 below the 5 frame. And we can show 8 with a 10 frame right here. There are 5 in the top row and 3 in the bottom row. When a 10 frame has 2 missing, the 10 frame shows 8. It's 5 and 3 more. There's many different ways to make 8 with counters. We can use all blue counters. We have 8 of them. We see the two empty spaces in the 10 frame. There's 8 blue counters. We could use 7 blue counters and 1 pink one. We can use 6 blue counters and 2 pink ones. 5 blue counters and 3 pink ones. 4 blue and 4 pink. 3 blue and 5 pink. 2 blue and 6 pink, 1 blue and 7 pink, or all pink. Each 10 frame has two empty spaces. See that? So each 10 frame has 8 counters. When a 10 frame shows 8, two counters will be missing. Here's the number 8. We can trace it. For right-handed students, we can take our finger you can trace with me. We start here, and we're going to make an S. But when we get here, we're going to cross over and continue to the starting spot. Let's try it again. We start here. We make an S. But then we keep going and cross over to the starting spot. We can do it with our left hand. Some left-handed students are going to make it just like the right-handed students. They're going to start here and make an S and continue back up to the starting spot. They make an S and cross over back up to the starting spot. Now, I'm left-handed, and the way I make an 8 is I start here and I make a 6. But then I keep going and curve around to the starting spot. I start here, I make a 6, and cross over, curve around, back to the starting spot. The important thing is, is it comfortable to write and does it look okay that other people can read it? Here we have a set of zebras and a set of hippopotamus. We need to count them and circle the set of eight. Will you count the zebras with me? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. We counted seven zebras. We need to circle the set of eight. So there's only seven zebras. That's not the set of eight. Let's try counting the hippos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight hippos. That's the set of eight. We can circle the hippos. Hippo is short for hippopotamus. Tala has six apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. Emma has two apples. One, two. They need eight apples to make a pie. Do they have enough apples to make their pie? Do you know? They need eight apples to make a pie. And we need to figure out if they have enough apples. We know Tala has six. And with Emma's, that would be six, seven, eight apples. Yes, they would have eight apples together. That would be enough so they can make a pie. Six apples and two more apples are eight apples. We can put them together and see there are one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight apples together. So we can show eight as five and three more, and eight is one more than seven. And we saw that when a 10 frame is missing two counters, we know there's eight. Our next lesson is 3.6, and we're gonna count and write to eight. We're gonna write it right-handed and left-handed. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a really wonderful day. Bye.